Hello. So, about a month and a half, maybe two months ago, I was looking for a new guitar. I play guitar. I'm not the world's most technical, best guitarist, but I do like playing guitar a lot, and I've got a lot of nice guitars. I'm lucky and fortunate to be able to have some pretty awesome guitars, but I was looking for something different. I was looking for something maybe a little more modern, maybe something headless, maybe something multi-scale, maybe something eight-string for the pick up a pancake, bam, pick up, bam, pick up, to gent, to gent, to gent. I've already got a seven string, but I wanted something a little bit more. However, I didn't want to spend like $3,000 on an eight string Strandberg or anything like that. So I took to the internet and started looking around for an affordable, but still quality instrument. And my research came up on GOC guitars and they looked really interesting. Their Instagram looked really good. Their website looked good. I'm like, you know what? These aren't even that expensive. I'm gonna take a look at it. And right away, I clicked the link in their store and took me right to AliExpress. And if you know anything about AliExpress, they don't necessarily have the best reputation for stuff. It's like a little bit better than wish.com. At least that's what I thought. So immediately I was like, no, I don't really wanna go down the AliExpress trail and see what happens there, the rabbit trail of that. We've all seen horror stories of people ordering guitars and them falling apart. But I decided to reach out to the customer service at GOC and they were actually really great. I looked at some more reviews. The reviews were fantastic for the most part and uh, their customer service assured me that they were a real company, that they, I think they're based in America but they moved their operation to overseas. And so I decided to, I don't want to say take a chance, but I decided to order a guitar from them. And about a week and a half later, This showed up on my doorstep. This is my GOC Guitars Satya eight string guitar. And let me just say right off the bat, this is a very, very cool guitar. Also, this video is in no way sponsored by GOC. Um, you should probably know that based on the amount of views and subscribers that I have, um, no one's sponsoring me for any content. This is a guitar that I bought and I do want to do a review on it because there's a couple reasons, but it is a very, very cool guitar. Um, right off the bat, it looks pretty sleek. It's got a, I think it's North American Ash body. It's got a rich light fretboard, which is some sort of composite recycled paper material. I think it feels good. It's got a micarta neck which again, I think is some sort of synthetic composite, but it is very, very cool. Before I go into all the specs and everything, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play a clip of one of my tracks that I wrote and recorded all with this guitar so you can hear it in a full mix. And then we'll do a little bit of a breakdown of the specs and all of that stuff. So check it out. editing and I forgot to say um, obviously that's not the full song if you like the song um, let me know I will be releasing a bunch of music soon just kind of for fun I know I'm not the world's greatest mu music producer or musician but it's it's fun I like doing it and some people are like hey you should release all the stuff you've been working on in the basement so I'm planning on doing that that's why I didn't put the whole track in partially because it's not fully done and mixed yet and secondly because I'm waiting until I've got a bunch of stuff that I can release together but that should be coming within the next depends how busy life is but soon ish Anyway, carry on with the video. Okay, so, like I said before, North American Ash Body, Micarta Neck, Rich Light Fretboard. Uh, it's a 26, I believe, to a 28 inch scale length. It's a pretty big difference from a normal six string. It's got a volume, tone knob, 
got their own pickups known as Paragon pickups. Um, I might be holding the guitar at this point where I might just kind of show cool clips of it. Uh, I like the Satya design quite a bit. It kind of reminds me of, of like a halfway between like Tosa and Abasi's, uh, Abasi guitars against the Lardia or Ladria, I can't pronounce it properly, but it's like halfway between that and the Strandberg. I really like it. It's got stainless steel frets. It's got lumen lays, which is pretty cool. And I will say that the fret work on this guitar is very, very nice. It is a very well-constructed guitar. They've got their own bridge system here. They've got a zero fret and a nut at the top there. And yeah. And at this point, I have spent about a month with this guitar. And it is pretty cool. It also comes with, I forgot to mention this before, uh, a battery pack at the back. The guitar itself, these pickups are not active pickups, but GOC knows their fan base and they know that a lot of people might want to swap these out for, I don't know, maybe some Fishman Influence pickups or something like that. And we will get to that when I give some opinions and reviews on this thing. So overall, that's kind of the objective information and a little bit of my subjective opinion on it. Like I said, a lot, it's a very feature rich guitar, especially for the price point. This is coming in at under a thousand dollars US and it is really, I think it's really cool. It's very light in comparison to some of my other guitars. Um, even though it is quite large as an eight string, it's got that ergonomic design. It is no real neck dive. The finish feels really cool. It is a satin kind of worn finish. So it's got that kind of used look, but it's not so like open grain that you feel like you're gonna get a sliver touching it. I actually think that the finish is done really well and it feels really cool on the neck. Anyway, let's get to some tones that are not in a full mix and then we'll talk about some of my opinions on this guitar. For the tone demos, I will be using uh, Neural DSP's Archetype of Bozzi for all of them because as I've said before, or I will say later in this video, eight string guitar, Tosa Nabasi. That's it, that's what it is. You can, you can pretend to do something else, but come on, we all just wanna to be Tosa Nabasi. I can't be Tosa Nabasi. Okay, so let's get some, to some tones. I'm gonna to be running through some of Tosin's presets on the Neural DSP Archetype of Bozzi, and then I'm gonna go through all the pickup configurations with that. Uh, let's start with the clean. I'm gonna be using the Crystal Clean from that. Oh, and I'm tuned in Open D, or Open E, sorry. So low E, low B, and then E standard on top of that. pickups. Pick up. didn't make sense but you get the picture all right let's get some rhythmy crunch going on for this part i'm going to be using the uh go genti uh preset that tosin uses and or has i don't know if he uses it and again we're going to cycle through let's start with the neck pickup <laughs>
middle pickup, middle, middle two pickups. <laughs> play the other strings but why would I all right now let's go to some lead sounds and for this I'm going to be using the uh, sick lead sound again from neural DSP Abasi in the Tosin Abasi presets area starting with the neck pickup Two pickups together. Goofy bonus thing from an eight string. I don't know if you guys, but I love my three note per string major scale though. <laughs> string especially in drop E you can take that and you can make it really really big and long because all these bottom four strings you just do the same thing I hit wrong notes Anyway, those are the pickups. They sound pretty good. Yeah, they're not bad sounding at all. So, my opinions on this guitar. First off, I would really struggle to say that this is a good budget guitar, because I think it's actually just like a really good guitar. To be upfront and honest, like I said before, the fretwork is immaculate on it. It feels like a well-made, professional quality instrument. Uh, the tuning stability is great. The tuners work pretty well. You do have to put a little bit of effort, but it's not that difficult. And if you've got a pick, it's designed for a pick to go in there. It's super, super easy. Um, I found that picking this up, going from a seven string that's not a multi-scale and a bunch of six strings, this was not difficult to jump into at all. It was, honestly, it was pretty easy. 
I find the neck profile very comfortable. Uh, it is not a copy of the Strandberg and Jerneck. It is a, it is different. It's its own thing, and it's not trying to be that. And maybe that's why I like it. I don't love the Jernecks that much. They're cool, but they're not really my thing. This I found I find really really easy to play. I've actually been playing this so much lately that my six strings feel a little bit weird when I pick them up. They feel like little toys. I think it looks awesome. I think it sounds quite good uh, for what these pickups are in it. Now, the things that I would maybe change on this guitar. First off, um, changing the intonation is not easy. However, I think I didn't have the right tool. What you've gotta do is you've gotta kinda rotate those little saddles a little bit. And once you rotate them like a quarter turn, it's super simple and super easy. But that first turn, and I don't know, it's because maybe my strings were a little bit too tense. It was a little bit difficult, but after that, it has been fine. Um, like I said before, I think the bridge is great. It stays in tune really well. Um, no issues with the fretting, stainless steel frets all across the board. Trust rod, easy to adjust, easy to play. And the pickups. The pickups is something that a lot of people have looked at these guitars and said that they're not up to snuff. And these are, I think, their Paragon pickups. And here's what I will say about their pickups. For the price of this guitar, these pickups are fantastic. They are fine. There's nothing wrong with them whatsoever. Um, I think one of the reasons why people might have an issue with these pickups is because this guitar feels like it should cost more than $1,000. It feels much more like guitars that would cost in a whole other price range. And at that price range, yeah, I think the pickups, you'd maybe want some coil split and some other things. Um, the bridge pickup, I think it cuts through pretty well in a mix. The neck pickup is a little, I don't know, I don't quite love it for this. However, that does not change the fact that it's not a bad guitar at all. And the pickups are not bad. I will likely be swapping them out. I do want to order a pair of Fishman's for it. I'm going to get some Tosa Nabasi pickups because eight string Tosa Nabasi, that's, that's what you do. <laughs> At least that's what I'm going to do. And again, it's not that these are bad, but I kind of want that range between the really articulate active pickups for the split coil and the really mean beefy stuff. And I find that these don't have the most articulate for cleans and stuff like that. There's a couple other mods I might do. Oh, one thing. It also came with this pit guard. Um, I'm not always a pit guard guy. I think the shape of this pit guard is super cool. I don't love the aged green. I think that, and I get where they're going with the aged green and the kind of worn finish. To me, I look at aged green as like a traditional Strat Tele sort of vibe. This is the exact opposite. This is a very modern guitar. So what I may be doing is finding a way to refinish this pit guard and maybe even swapping out the knobs on here for maybe some speed knobs or I don't know if the speed knobs the right thing, but maybe just some black or maybe gold knobs to go with that. I think that that would look pretty cool. Um, like I said, playability is great. Access to frets is great. It's fun to play. It's cool to play. Here's the question I've gotten the most about this guitar. As I said before, I've got quite a few guitars and I actually have some very, very, very nice guitars. And I've been asked many times, how does this compare to some of my high-end instruments like this, for example? This is my Sir Custom. Uh, I didn't order it custom, I got it from someone else who did, but it is literally exactly to the specs that I would have ordered if I did. Uh, this is an incredible instrument. Uh, if you know anything about Sir guitars, you know that they are the best. In my opinion, they are the best guitars money can buy. However, they do take quite a bit of money to get them. They're expensive. I got a great deal on this one and on my other one, so I'm not rolling in dough, but they are expensive guitars. They are fantastic guitars. Uh, I've got this one and I've got this one. And if you've ever seen any of my videos or anything on Instagram, you know that these are the two guitars that I play the most before I got this. I've actually been posting a lot with this lately because it's a lot of fun. And the question that people ask is, how does the Chinese-made guitar compare to these absolute top-end instruments? And I think right off the bat, that's not a fair comparison to make. Um, I like to compare guitars to cars a lot. Um, if you had a Jeep or a Hummer or an off-road vehicle, 
and you had a Lamborghini or a Bentley, you wouldn't really compare the two because they're doing different things. Like for your everyday daily driver, do you want a tank? Do you want that off-road Jeep? Probably not. You probably want your, maybe this is a Bentley, maybe this is a, I don't know. They're, I've never driven a Bentley, who am I kidding? Um, for your everyday daily use for like playing six string stuff, does this compare with this? No, but it's not supposed to. There are things that this, and specifically the other one, I'll grab it now. There are specific things that this will do, that this will not do. Like this is my main Sunday morning guitar. Will this replace this? No, I played this on a Sunday, it was fun, but I don't think there's a guitar in the world that would replace this for my main go-to Sunday guitar. Sorry, Veritas or any other brands, but these are better. <laughs> um, however, there's some stuff that this does that none of my other guitars will do. And like, if I'm doing anything heavier, if I'm going into the animals as leaders, if I'm going into the more gent stuff, yeah, this is what I'm reaching for. Uh, if I, again, if I want to do more of the intervals thing and more of the Pliny stuff, this is probably what I'm going to play, something like this. Uh, I'm not good enough to play all that stuff, but there are different things for different things. I think the fairest compare, and, but the, again, these guitars are worth way, way, way more. They're way more expensive than this. So it's not a fair comparison to make. I think what a more fair comparison would be looking at my Ibanez 7 string. Again, similar style of music that I'll be using them for. Similar in price point, I think that the iron labels are still a little pricier than this. Um, but these compare very well. Maybe that this is new and it's all set up, but I actually have a lot more fun playing the eight string and the headless than I do with the Ibanez. I'll still use this if I'm doing any seven string stuff, but quality of guitar, this actually feels better. Pickups, like I said before, the pickups on these ones, again, not bad, but it's an under thousand dollar guitar, so you're not getting the world's most expensive pickups. This one, I believe, has DiMarzio's in it, and they're very aggressive. They're exactly what I'm looking for in this guitar. But I think this guitar, even at a lower price point than the Ibanez, outperforms it. And I think it's also worth noting, as I said with the Sirs, they are far more expensive than this. And after having this for a month now, and several times swapping between this guitar and this guitar as I'm just sitting down here playing, or, or the white one a little bit more, here's what it doesn't feel like. It does not feel like I'm going to a considerably lower level guitar when I'm holding this and playing this when I'm comparing it to the more expensive guitars. I do have some cheaper guitars. I've got an Epiphone Les Paul that I've had forever. I've got a Mexican Strat that are great guitars. But if I'm playing them and I play one of the Sirs, you can tell. It's a big difference. It's like going from a, I don't know, it's like going from a Pontiac Sunfire to a Mercedes Benz. There's, there's a big difference in feel and everything there. This feels a lot closer to the professional level guitars, because I think it is, quite frankly, than the other ones. I think that this is a fantastically well-made guitar. Like I said, the pickups aren't exactly what I'm looking for in this guitar, but I'm not going to get rid of this guitar. I love playing this guitar, and the pickups aren't even bad. They sound good, but I want something a little bit different in that. So my overall review of this guitar, it's awesome. I think that the GOC guitars have, they're really, really worth checking out. They're worth looking into. If you want to scratch that modern guitar headless itch and you don't want to drop a huge amount of money on the Strandbergs, by all means, check out these things. They are awesome guitars. I don't even want to say they're awesome for the money because awesome for the money makes it seem like, oh, you couldn't afford a Strandberg, so you didn't get that. Could I have bought a Strandberg? Probably. My wife would have been mad, but I probably could have bought one. But I'm actually glad I got this because it's a little more unique looking. I like the shape a little bit more on the Strandbergs, and I just think it's a really cool guitar, and I'm excited to do some mods to it, and I'll probably do another video of that. But yeah, that is my GOC Guitars Satya. Really cool guitar. Check out the company, cool. If you liked that video, like it, because I like making it, it was fun. If you wanna see the mods I'm gonna do with this guitar, 
or if you want to hear more of this guitar as it is right now, or any other guitar stuff, if you want to watch some guitar videos of someone that's probably not as good as you at guitar, if you're in the guitar YouTube space, you're probably better than me and you want to feel better about your ability to play. Um, yeah, why don't you just watch my videos and then you'll be like, oh, this guy's not that good. I feel better about myself. That's what I'm here for. I want to make you feel better about yourself. So, yeah, this is an awkward way to end a video.